Hazrat. And we're going to read from the ninth chapter of Proverbs. And we're going to begin reading. Verse 9. I'm reading from the New International Version translation. Instruct the wise man, and he will be wiser still. Teach a righteous man, and he will add to his learning. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. For through me your days will be many, and years will be added to your life. If you are wise, your wisdom will reward you. If you are a mocker, you alone will suffer. The woman father is loud. She is undisciplined and without knowledge. She sits at the door of a house on a seat at the highest point of the city, calling out to those who pass by, who go straight on their way. That all who are simple come in here. She says to those who lack judgment, stolen water is sweet. Food eaten in secret is delicious. But little do they know that the dead are there, that her guests are in the depths of the grave. Amen. We're going to use this uh, text here, and it's, it's a mighty word there, yeah. Yeah. mighty, mighty word. Yeah. Not that I would do anything with all of that, but I thank the Lord <laughs> for the word. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Oh Lord, our Lord, thank you for this opportunity. Yeah. We bless your name as we come together share this time together. In your precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. As I think in terms of wisdom, it's a, it's, it's a mighty thing. Wisdom. Amen. In other words, don't be a fool. Seek wisdom. And I um, praise the Lord that the uh, pastor was just saying by me and wisdom. I, I don't know about all of that he said about me. Uh, but uh, I've been I've been trying to reach out for it for many years, yeah. and uh, I don't know why people keep on asking me to come over here on seniors. <laughs> I, I guess it's because I'm a senior. <laughs> Club. 
But to have good sense, that's cool. Go mm ahead. -hmm. <laughs> Not to have good sense, that's a fool. <laughs> <laughs> it's the fear of majesty and the wrath of God. These are the first steps to a true religion. Fear of majesty and the dread of wrath. Fear of the majesty of God and the wrath of God are the first steps to its true religion. True religion. Now, now you can come to church all you want <laughs> and jump all around and hop and skip and dance and whatever else. But, but I will I will tell you, I will tell you something. The first step is, is that is the first step to a good religion is to fear God. Amen. To fear God, His majesty, and to fear God, His wrath. Yes. And, and, and that's the first step to a true religion. The knowledge of holy things, the things pertaining to the service of God, things that pertain to our own sanctification. Mm -hmm. The knowledge of holy things, holy things. Not just this group, that's not exactly what I'm talking about. The knowledge of holy things, the good news of the gospel. Yes, yes, yes. Knowledge of holy things. Uh -huh. The, as I say, the, 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 the embrace of the word of God, holy things, to embrace it. For, 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 for you to not want to embrace God's word. Yes. Mm -hmm. I heard the pastor talking about Bible study. And so many of us, we want to come to church on Sunday. Say that, say that. But we don't want to come on Wednesday. Say that, say that. We, 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 we want to come when somebody's saying something. Uh -huh. But on Wednesday, when we're being taught. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Thank you, Jesus. Now, Thank that you, Jesus. Wise. Thank you. <clears throat> Matter of fact, I'm going to call it what it is. That's a fool. <laughs> <laughs> that don't want to be involved in the study of God. Yeah. <laughs> Not to want to know something about the majesty oh, of thank God. You, Jesus. Thank Not you, Jesus. to want to know something about the wrath yes, of Lord. God. Yes, Lord. Not to want to know something about the love of God. Yeah. About His grace. I was a pastor, with the, the, the group was singing, I don't know about uh, uh, without God's grace. I said, I know what's still happening. Without God's grace, it's death. <laughs> that, that's all it is. It's just all what's left. If, if without God's grace, it's death. Death. And we thank God that, 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 that the first step True religion is the fear of the majesty of God yes. and the wrath mm -hmm. of God. Mm -hmm. The knowledge of holy things, mm -hmm. holy things, the things pertaining to the service of God, right, right. things that pertain to our own sanctification. Right. How, I, <coughs> mm -hmm. how I thank God that he has set me apart. Mm -hmm. Not because I'm a preacher, <laughs> but he has set me apart unto himself. Yeah. <laughs> that 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 I'm 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 with him. Mm -hmm. All right. I, I, I'm with him. I ain't I ain't where I ought to be. 
Amen. I want to be much, much more than I am. Yes. But I thank the Lord yes. for what setting I, me apart yes. under him. Yes. He can work with me. Yes. He can help me along the way. The knowledge of holy faith. Mm -hmm. The word, I said, of God. Yes. The grace of God. Thank you, Lord. Holy faith. Thank you, Lord. The love of God. Holy faith. Thank God. But, my brothers and sisters, there's some consequences. Yes, Lord. Of not choosing wisdom. Yes, Lord. Yeah. If you choose to be a fool, if you choose to be a fool, that is a fool. Yeah, a fool. But you choose to be a fool rather than to have wisdom. Yes. What, what is that? <laughs> Pastor, I'm sorry, but uh, um, you know, what is that? Not to choose God, not to choose the will of food. That the consequences of not choosing wisdom and seeking understanding. Mm -hmm. All right. it's, 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 it's a life that's brief. All right. yeah. The consequence yeah. is a life that's brief. I mean, it don't last long. <laughs> Just here for a little while yeah. and you go yeah. because you choose to be a fool. You choose to go without God. That's a fool. You choose uh, to walk with God. You choose to have your own way rather than the ways of God. You choose that. That is a fool. Yes. And 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 and, and it gives a, a brief life. You don't last long. You're not here with us long. But then, it, it also, in, in opportunity, at different points, it gives uh, a, a, a long life. Right, right. Now that's the one that sure enough. Long life being a fool. <laughs> you know, I mean, it looks like you know to be a fool for a little while. Yeah, right, 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 right. Come on, right. While, but to be a fool, oh, long time, long time, all your life, I know. <laughs> without God. I think about when I when, when I think about here a long life. Yes, yeah. To get in trouble. Mm -hmm. Long life. Oh, to walk without God. Mm -hmm. A long life. Mm -hmm. To be involved in mess. Long life. Yeah. To walk along and hear people trying to help, and and I'm just looking. You know, have you ever seen people even come to church and and, 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 and they sit up and act like they just mad? You <laughs> <laughs> just can't look like. Just can't even look like that. Happen. Thank you, that right. Act like they're mad. And then if the preacher saying something, something something. Oh. Yeah. I don't understand. It's just to be a fool. All your life. Yes, sir. Long life. 
choosing wisdom and seeking understanding. The consequences of not choosing wisdom and not seeking understanding, it'll give you a brief life, but will also, you can have long life. And I think if I'm gonna be a fool, I think I'm gonna choose short life. <laughs> but to be a fool all your life, all your life, to be, to walk along and be involved uh, uh, in mess. Right. Right. Yes. Angry all the time. Yeah. 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 No joy. Well, well, well. Just anger. Yeah. <laughs> Just choosing not to lack you. Yeah. 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 I don't even like what you got on. Yeah. <laughs> This <laughs> crazy. Yes, yes, sir. Consequences of that. Yeah. Of a long life. <laughs> Being a fool. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't want to live a day without the God. I don't even want to live a day without being him involved in my life. I don't want to wake up no day and not thank God for waking up. I just don't want to be a fool. Not to thank God for one more day. I used to hear, and I imagine some of you too, I used to hear my great grandmother say, Nilo. 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 I came up in Georgia. Uh -huh. And, and there was a little town called Hazelhurst, Georgia. Uh -huh. and, and she said, Nilo. Uh -huh. Here I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she she didn't know. By, by saying, here I am. Yeah. <laughs> you say, here I am, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Body yeah. Body yeah. Body yeah. Body yeah. Body 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 Some of us, we get up in the morning, we never thank the Lord. Say that. Say that. Say, Lord, you bless me to rest through the night. And here I am. I thank you for last night. I thank these who have been here for many years. I just want to say to you, God bless you. Amen. And you are still here dealing with the love of God. You're still here trying to help somebody. You're still here holding the hand of God and speaking to each other and lifting oh, each you, other up. Jesus, thank you. Thank you. But I want to say to some of you younger people, don't 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 be a fool. All you need. Just just be a fool. All your youth. All of your youth. I mean, I slow down sometimes <laughs> and give thanks to God for Him bringing you where you are. Just thank Him for bringing Him where you are. Then, there I said is the consequences of not choosing wisdom and seeking understanding. Yes, Lord. Uh, uh, it, it gives a, 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 a brief life, but sometimes it gives a long life. Mm -hmm. But but the advantage of choosing wisdom and understanding, uh, wisdom 
Wisdom says, by me. By me. By choosing me. And I'm talking to some of you younger folks. By choosing me, wisdom says, your days can be multiplied. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. They can be multiplied. Thank you, Lord. By choosing me, you can have health of body. By choosing me, you can have years of life on earth. And even if some of those years are sickly years, yes, no. if some of those years of the body is not doing well, you can still Say, choose you, wisdom. Yes, yeah. You can yeah. you still uh, choose majesty, yeah. the grace of God. Uh -huh. You can still love God yeah. even though things don't go right. Yes, yes Lord. Yes, Lord. I, I, I've got some, I got some grandsons <laughs> that I'm constantly talking to. They hurt me deep down. When, 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 when I know that, that they are choosing foolishness yes, yes, Lord. rather than choosing wisdom. Yes. Thank you, Lord. I'm praying for them every day, every night. Yes, Lord. I'm praying. For them, yes. and they don't seem to understand no. that 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 when you do everything you want to do, everything you want to do, you just keep on doing it. <laughs> just keep on. The wisdom says, "My God, look at you," yeah. and they cannot even see yeah. what they're doing yeah. is wrong. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And what they're doing is not choosing the God. Yes. It's choosing my way. Uh -huh. It's what I want to do. Yeah. It's how I want to do it. Yeah. It's when I want to do it. And can't nobody that's tell me what. what yeah. Now that's the fool. I can tell you what. <laughs> but there's the advantage of having a healthy body. Not just physical health, but spiritual health. Yes, Lord. Is there with me here? I wish, I wish I, I wish I could preach this sermon. I wish I could preach it and and and, and really get to you. I, I I'd like to give you some wisdom, but I just can't hand it to you. You have to choose. Wisdom. You have to decide. That this is what I'm going to do. You have to decide to choose God. I don't care how much I talk about the Lord. I don't care how much I tell you that God is good. I don't care how much I tell you that God will be with you. He'll walk with you. He'll talk with you. He'll tell you he's yes, wrong. I can yes, tell you that just keep on. And you'll yes, still be, be a fool. Yeah. Because you won't listen to him. You won't hear but I thank God that this God is a wise God. He imparts wisdom. And God's initiative to bring comfort in the midst of the suffering and the despairs of life. I want to tell you that. In the despairs of life, God can bring comfort in the midst of that. The care and environment of God. God has not abandoned. He still comes. He still cares. He is not aloof from the situation. He's not aloof from our situation. God is not just some great, giant, majestic emblem sitting up there. God cares. Yes, Lord. He cares what happens to yes, him. Lord. He, he's not aloof from us uh -huh. in his holiness. Uh -huh. But he holds us and he cares for us and he, he extends his arm yes, to Lord. us. Yes, Lord. He said, come unto me, all ye that live and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God. Thank you, Lord. Is able. Yes, Lord. He is, he, he is not aloof from us. 
I keep telling you, God's compassion mm -hmm. is bowels of compassion. Yes. It's shared in the voice of this word. Comfort ye. Mm -hmm. Comfort ye my people, yes. saith the Lord. Yes, yes. God's initiative is seen in his activity to bring new possibilities mm -hmm. in hopeless situations. Yes. Yeah. I want to just tell you, he can bring new possibilities. Yes, in Lord. hopeless situations. Yes, yes, you just don't see no way out. Yes, yes, Everything yes, I'm surrounded. Yes, I'm surrounded. Yes, but somehow you, God will make a way. Yes, and no folk will you say somehow. 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 I, don't, I don't know how he does it. But the Lord will make a way yes, somehow. somehow. Yes. That's it. In the midst of my hurt. Lord, thank you, Jesus. In the midst of my despair into the midst of my suffering. Yes. God's initiative. Yeah, yeah. He can bring comfort. Yeah. The care and involvement of God has not abandoned us. No. He still cares. Yes. My brothers and sisters, God's initiative is seen in his activity yes. to bring new possibilities yes. in hopeless situations. Situation. Yes, Lord. And I'm about, I'm about through here, but I just want to tell you, new possibilities yes, Lord. in hopeless situations. Situation. Yes, God Almighty, <laughs> new possibilities. I can't even, I can't even imagine anything good can come out of this. But God is able yes, to take something ugly, yes, low down, yes. smell it everywhere. And God is able to bring new possibilities yes. out of an ugly yes. situation. Yes. I thank God. Yes. That God can reach over yes. into the midst of it yes. and bring it out. Yes. And when I come out, I come out looking good. Yes. I was involved in this mess, and, and I was looking bad, and 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 and, 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 and smelling. You didn't even want to be around me. But look what God can do. He can clean you up. He can bring you out. He can stand you up. And men will say, "Thanks be to God." Look what God can do. Thank you, Lord. Oh, how I love Jesus. How I love Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. And the reason I love him is because he first loved me. Love me. Thank you. Is there a witness? Because yes. he first loved me. Yes. God does not only have compassion yes, on those uh, in, 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 in dire situations. Yes. And not only is there hope given in hopeless situations, but God comes himself with glorious restoration. No matter, I, I can go off from God. I can walk away. I can try to live without Him. And God will let me. But His grace just keeps on reaching out. Just keeps on reaching out. Just keeps on reaching out. God keeps on coming to us. As I close, and I said that, that's my second time. <laughs> but I, I, I want to I want to tell you that Lord, that, that, that that's able to come yes, Lord. in situations yes. of hurt. Yes. I have God can sweep away your transgression yes, Lord. like a cloud uh -huh. and your sins like a mist. Yes. He can bring forgiveness yes. and it brings the hope of renewal, yes. both physically. And spiritually, God has forgiven. Yes, Lord. Thank I remember Lord. him calling Moses. Yes, Lord. And said, Moses, I want to tell you something. Moses, I have seen the despair of my children. I have seen them hurt. I have seen them under hard taskmasters. I have seen 
their hurt and their suffering. I've seen all of that, and I am come down. I'm come down. But then he said something strange. Now you go. I, I couldn't understand that. He said, I have seen the suffering of my people. I've seen their hurt. I've seen their despair. I've seen how their hard taskmasters keep on beating them. I've seen how the slave master did to my, my people and your people, my color, my kind, back in slavery, what they did to us and how they led us astray and how they would rape our women and all of those things. I've seen all of that and God says, I've seen it. I've seen all of that and I am come down. Now you go. Yes, Lord. Now, you, you, ain't, you ain't caught a check. God is sitting up here on the throne. In his majesty. In his majesty. And in his wrath. God is sitting there. And he sees all of the hurt. And he sees all of the danger. And he sees how you've been treated. And then he says, and I am come down. And I'm looking for him to come down and do something. Yeah, but he yeah. said, now you go. Yeah. Well, yeah. do you understand what I'm talking about? Yeah. I, I, I still don't think that, the, that, you, that you got it. He said, I have seen all of this. I've seen the hurt. I've seen the danger. I've seen how people are being treated. And I have come down. Now you go. And I'm saying the great of faith. I'm saying to these old soldiers of the cross. God has seen the affliction you have. He has seen that even now our people, our people are being treated wrongly. Yeah. When I think about this this political yeah. race yeah. and the foolishness yeah. that I hear.